Well, we're here we're getting ready for pigs uh, standing with Michael from uh, Golden View, the hog manager. So just figured we'd have a little conversation about the barn, about what he, uh, how they came to this point, what they decided to do making this decision. So as we're walking through, Jake's going to record some video. We're going to just have a little conversation, try not to make Michael feel too awkward here. <laughs> hey, if you're not used to a video, this is kind of weird. So yeah. anyway, uh, tell us, Michael, I guess you started this process, what, how long ago? When did you make the decision? Um, well, the first year I went to, to the pork show in Sioux Falls in 2014, I met the uh, Tim Kerb is at the NEDAP station down there and uh, he kind of introduced us to the station and what it's doing and I kind of fell in love with the NEDAP station. I kind of liked the way it worked and we, from that time on we started putting planes together on a new sow barn. Sure. Now you were running, or up till this point you've been running how many sows? Uh, 1450. 1450, and you're expanding now to about 2400. Yes. And you're gonna be doing a, a sort of a, a batch farrowing of every two weeks, correct? Yes. Okay. So I was gonna make sure. I kind of know those details, make sure that everybody else got it, and that I'm not screwing it up either. So, when did you actually decide? Okay, we're gonna go forward and build it. Like you've been planning, but when did you actually decide to? Um, it was last year. Early summer. Was it, yeah, I guess that's when we kind of got the, the, the final. Yeah, the that's when uh, the when we decided from, well, do we want to build the same size we are now or do we want to expand to 2,400 sows? Sure. So, sure. so we, now, yeah, well, you're adding on the farrowing on this one as well. So before you were actually, uh, your, your, your gestation and your farrowing were in two separate buildings where you actually had to haul the pigs in. Yeah, the two. we had that's to haul all, all the sows. <laughs> Yeah. I can't imagine. You're, so you're looking forward to just being able to run them down the hallway now and just... Yeah, absolutely. And not be uh, using old converted buses to move these animals. That'd be half the labor. Yeah, yeah. So you started the process of construction, was it mid-summer? Um, August... August, was it August the 15th of 2020. Yeah. So it was WS Construction who built this barn for them, and that was, is that when they started dirt work, or is that... That's when we started to move the first dirt. Really? And so now we're standing here, and this is April 7th of 2021, and two days from now, the 9th, there'll be actual pigs coming into this barn. We're going to move our first first 85 gilts in and uh, start them on acclimation on Matrix for... That's on Friday. 14 day matrix, yes. So, so when are you bringing some of your old sows back from the fairway to start introducing? Um, next bring... week, the 15th, we're gonna bring wean sows. in, bring our first sows in. So the first gills that are coming in are actually gonna be going into the stalls just to e get them on matrix. And then yes. Start training them. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's take a walk through one of these bends. I don't know, we'll follow Jake so he doesn't trip on stuff and wherever he goes. <laughs> We're actually walking into one of the, uh, what it'll be, the sow pens. Now, because we're doing batch farrowing here, there's actually eight different sow pens, and it'll be, what, about 160 sows? 150. 150, is it? Okay. 160. For, uh, for well, uh, it depends how, well, with 150 sows, yeah, that's going to be 150 sows. Sure. And then we're running, uh, I can't remember the numbers on the gills. We've got two dynamic gill pens that will be... Um, uh, if I'm right, there's going to be 40 gilts. For every two weeks, roughly. That makes sense. That's about right. So, uh, standing here actually by this water, I've always meant to have that conversation. So, you decided, have you tested these waters as much, these bowl type waters? Or um, while in the old, old gestation, I had similar, just a trough style with a vacuum valve on it, and it worked perfect. So some of your old gestation is just small pens that you just floor fed them or trickle fed them? Floor fed them. We dropped feed and the sows had to fight for their food. And fight they did, I'm sure. And fight they did. <laughs> a lot this of, be, lot, of nice change, yeah. lot of vulva biting, a lot of um, shoulder sores and... A lot of scratching. Yeah. Okay, and probably, yeah, your attending type of fairing rates and conception rates probably showed up. Yes. Like that, so. This, uh, if you ever get vulva biting in this pen, you better be dialing my number that day because it's something we can, you can get rid of it. You can create it if you do things wrong, but if it exists, there's a very easy way to get rid of it. If something is just not working right enough. I got a good feeling it's gonna be almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I, I hope you're right. Compared so. to what we have now. Um, so we, we, uh, I took a video here, I think uh, uh, last week I just did a walkthrough here when your brother, I think it was Leonard, was, um, was uh, spraying the floor with vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Now that's something you guys have done on other barns? Um, the first barn we did was an off-site finisher, but we heard from other, other producers that apple cider vinegar kind of lowers the pH in fresh concrete. And it, it, the fresh concrete is kind of hard on the high pH is hard on the on the on the pig's claw underneath. It just softens it up and it wears faster, and that's where a lot of lameness comes in. Sure. So they're essentially trying to mitigate the new barn disease. Yes. Sure. And uh, I must say it works in the in the in our GDU. I haven't had a a claw lameness most of the lameness in there is shoulder sores from fighting which they did yeah, a lot of fighting in there because you know. it's uh right now beings we we stuck to to get numbers for oh, for so our breeding herd we overstock sure sure so yeah we're just walking through the pen now as it where it would be the regular nesting areas i guess we're just getting pretty close you got what the inlets left to clean out a bit yet um I don't know how that's going to work. The fans might have to do it. <laughs> that leaf blower actually works pretty well. You can either go on the top and blow, blow it down or blow it up from here. If yeah. You're doing. So basically, there's not too much else to look in here. I just wanted to have that quick conversation. I mean, um, pigs are moving in here. We'll be training. Um, we've got to do some feed calibration, some water checking yet today, uh, some fan checking and all that set up. The other thing that we're not going to get a chance to look at it, but we've got the fusion controls out there. That's another decision uh, you guys had to make. And what are, you've been using the fusion now in where the gilts are so far. What do you think of it? Um, I must say it's actually pretty user friendly. It's uh, it's a little different than the AP etch if if you're used to the AP etch and then to the fusion. But it's uh, you you easily pick up things you it's easy to learn sure, sure. there's a couple of questions for later i guess and that's training that's just yeah. to get it figured out so but it's a very easy operatable controller just details that guys might be interested in you're running top pigs norsefin yes as, as a herd you'll be doing the internal replacement um batch farrowing just to tick off all those things batch farrowing every two weeks yes uh, and your uh, farrowing you have what uh how many 416 416 so 208 to a batch 208 to a batch that's right yeah every two weeks okay we're running just the munters um uh, munters drive on most of these fans uh pwa inlets in this particular room ap heaters Panel Tim fencing here, need up feed stations. It's pretty straightforward otherwise. Just to put the plug out there, this concrete or the slats came from uh, Westwood. Westwood Colony. So is solid rock, is it? I don't know what, yeah, what they're used. And WS Construction built the barn for you, so we kind of check all those boxes. Otherwise, that's kind of covers it I don't know unless there's something else you wanted to bring up well uh the reason well the reason we went actually with the need app station is um we looked at a couple companies we had them out here like Dutchman um Menabek was out here Gestal was out here um nice. trying to make sales which uh was okay just it's, it was pretty interesting all the different uh, ideas that sure. was out there sure. Um, well, I didn't like to just stall because of the sow walking in to eat and then begging out. Uh, I wasn't interested in that. Well, fame, um, Manoback, well, they had one station per pen, 60 sows to a station, and I just didn't like that. I mean, that's the sow was hanging around one station. Um, that was a different company, big Dutchman. Uh, there, big Dutchman. Well, they're Price was their, their price was really off, so that's why we didn't go that route. Sure. Um, and then there was um, Maximus. Okay. Maximus was out here too, which their their layout they had was um, I, I didn't like their layout. Um, 
And then for Wal Need, that was was always number one. I mean, it, we had you could run big groups, and, and I liked the the walk around horseshoe style sure. they had. I mean, if the sows walked out of the stage and they they were they were away from the stage, and there was no interference. Well, yeah, and, and touching on that, just in general, that forward exit that makes or breaks the stress levels in a pen. If, if you have animals that, that can just exit forward without having to interact with animals trying to get in, you're going to have a pen that you can make work well. If you force them to back out by, by not even giving them water when they're eating, uh -huh. uh, you're going to get some competition. You're going to get animals that, that have a stress level you'd really rather avoid. So, um, yeah, you've, you've seen this even. We took you into uh, Pig Hills Barn. You saw yes. an operation there. Yeah. Um, and then it, it sure, you can see that it just performs the way we say it should. So. Yeah. Alrighty. That's it. Hope everything works out good. Well, I'm <laughs> excited to get it going. So, well, that's a wrap then.